Are you one of those people that use the expressions, don't push my button? You know you have a button, right? I know that you know that I know that you have a button. And that button gets flared up by specific people or events. Would you believe the button is one of these? It's an old unprocessed emotion the size of a baseball that's just waiting to be pressed. Hello, everybody. My name is Michael Loge. I'm a certified emotion court practitioner today. Uh, we are back here the first Saturday of every month. Today's subject, you got it. We are going to help identify the negative button between you and a specific person. Wait for it and delete it. And I'm with my friend John. Hey, John, good morning. We look like we're in the same house almost. Almost, yeah. Uh, <laughs> good morning, everyone. My name is John Inverarity, certified emotion code and body code practitioner. I live in beautiful Vancouver, Canada. And I help people all over the world with relationship blocks, money blocks, chronic aches and pains, mental health concerns. And yeah, we're, we're coming back to episode 257 today, helping uh, people with relationships. Um, so we, again, uh, 257 times, uh, we're looking for volunteers. And uh, we'll get to that uh, later today. So stick around. Hey, if you're watching live, say hello, like Natasha and Kelly did. And let us know where you're watching from. Okay, and I'm I'm catching us live on. Hey, just all of our friends. We are live on YouTube. We're live on LinkedIn. We're live on two Facebook groups, and we also recorded. So if you're not able to join us, and maybe you're thinking, oh, I missed them. I'd love to join live so I can volunteer. Well, you can do that in the little ticker tape below. Uh, once a month, like today and yesterday, we would have sent you an email to say, hey, we're live tomorrow, mark your calendar, we're talking about this tomorrow, come join us. You can go to releasingnegativeemotions.com forward slash live, and uh, from there you can check out John or I, uh, check out all previous 256 episodes in case you really want a marathon. So today we're focusing on one of our favorite subjects. And it is an unprocessed emotion that's causing a little bit of friction between you and other people. John, let's say good morning to our friends. Yes, yes. Good morning, Natasha Paula Samuel. She's here as always. Says hello, Michael and John. Uh, and Kelly. Question. Kelly's here. Good morning, Kelly. Hello, Michael and John. Kelly says, John, uh, your photo on your wall is the cover of my book. I'm in Pemberton, BC, Canada. Cool. Alan yeah. Troy's with us from uh youtube hey alan welcome back hey, alan. and let's see manu meyer or mayor depending uh if i'm using my french or not <laughs> uh, hello i'm watching from new zealand it's 4 a.m we wow. love your commitment wow uh hey morning yes yeah, uh, and john and i are in the west coast of canada i'm on gilligan's island not the real name and uh, john's living in vancouver and you are in new zealand and what we're going to be able to do today is we work with people all over the world. You don't have to come to Vancouver Island to get a session with us. So I've got clients in 17 countries, and one of them that I work when he's in business class, flying from one major city to another. So you don't even have to be on the earth to get a session from us. And uh, we're going to explain how we able to how we're able to do that for you today, John. We're looking for a couple volunteers that fit today's description. Uh, go ahead and uh, tell our friends what we're looking for. Yeah, so two people to be watching live and and comment right now. Yes, I volunteer. And we like just a little bit of severity. So the topic today is around relationships and, uh, you know, being triggered by other people. You know, it could be a partner, spouse, maybe someone at work. And you feel like there's just, there's just something there, right? There's yeah. some conflict. And you see room for improvement. So simple as that. Or, and you might even know the button. For example, not you, John, our friends. They might say, you know what? I'm so I'm so triggered by jealousy. You know, that's valid. And yeah. you know what the trigger is? It's an unprocessed emotion of jealousy. We're going to talk about that. And it's like a pimple. Imagine if you felt jealousy a hundred times just last week. And it's because mm. of the same reason. The same one unprocessed. And that, that emotion is like this. It's, it's, try, it's trying to pop up. Jealousy, flare. Jealousy, flare. And it never gets deleted. But we're going to get to it in a minute, John. But what do we do to delete this baseball-sized old emotion of jealousy? We use a what? Well, we use a magnet. 
And we swipe it over our the governing meridian. So it starts around here, it goes like this. So our intention to clear it is amplified by the magnet and it clears us out, uh, flushes it throughout the whole meridian system and it just vaporizes. Yeah. It's kind of nice. So afterwards, you know, that rattling heavy emotion is cleared. People feel lighter, like right away. You know, aches and pains reduce or eliminated. You feel better, more optimistic. And that emotion's not able to to pop up again and cause that feeling why? Because it got deleted. So That's we're looking it. for a couple of volunteers. Let us West. know. Is there a specific person you have a little friction edge with? Is it your mother, your father, your husband, your wife, girlfriend, boyfriend? I know that you know who it is. You don't even need to tell us their name. You don't even need to come on the video. It's super easy. It'll be the easiest therapy walk-in clinic that you never had to walk to. You missed mother-in-law. Mother-in-law, father-in-law. I don't have those, so they don't come to mind. Uh, Sue Ann McKinney is from Montreal. Hey, Montreal, welcome. Uh, yeah, so we're going to work with somebody today. So, John, let's explain the process while we're doing that. We're looking for volunteers again. Uh, do you have a do you have a, 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 an issue that you're triggered by, or does someone trigger you? So today, uh, John and I, on your behalf, we're going to find out what the trigger is. You know, I guess you got a long way to point. We got to, you're going to work. We have to, uh, we have to do this for you, John. That is called proxy. So we act as a proxy on your behalf. So you just sit back, relax. We do all the legwork. It's, it's kind of nice. You just give us permission. It's like, hey, Michael, permission. would you vote for me? I can't be there. Say, hey, Michael, could you do an emotion code session with me so you can identify the end process emotion that's causing the trigger and delete it for me? We say yes to that. Uh -huh. So, John, we're not guessers, and we don't have special psychic powers, but we do have a yes or no indicator. And this yes or no indicator says, yes, it's that one. No, it's that one. Or no, it's not that one. Yes, it's that one. And our yes or no indicator is... You, we use muscle that. testing. So we ask yes or no questions. We get yes or no answers, and we use muscle testing to find it out. We're asking the subconscious mind, which knows everything, you know, what the trap emotion is, what that unprocessed negative emotion is. Yeah. And to release it yeah yes. and everything is stored everything that we talked about and read every feeling it's like file folders this file there's millions of stored information in our subconscious mind and our brain can access it but only using yes or no so john and i are going to be asking yes or no questions and the yes or no we're looking for is to help us find uh well yeah we're testing through the emotion code chart so it's behind michael there there's two columns six rows totaling 60 trapped emotions and we have some other uh charts and tools as well and so we ask we're asking is it in column a column b when the, we find the emotion we narrow it down and, and clear it out so okay. that? now just like if you you know the geeky people that we get to go into our computer in the olden days and they would find that little trojan bug and we, we were amazed they could take over our mouse and do it well yeah. we are the geeky people that are doing that for today so on your behalf, we're going to go inside your conscious mind. We're going to use muscle testing. We're going to ask yes or no questions. We're going to find out what the bug is. And it's not enough to find out what the bug is, John. Then we need to do what? Yeah, we need to clear it. So yeah, the magnet clears it out, just releases it. So it's, uh, it's a really, really quick, efficient process. And well, you know, we do our best to, uh, to explain it. And you know, this is the emotion code. Uh, in a nutshell, and, and we're going to demonstrate it as well. So we have two yeah, volunteers, we'll hear from and you. we're going to get to volunteer it. Up in front of the we room. do have volunteers. Yeah. Yes. Uh, again, uh, John and I have a full menu or a, a planner. Uh, it looks similar to almost like a menu of choices today. This is one of the hundreds of things that we help people uh, relieve or have a great satisfaction or success with. This is one of them. Uh, if you want to know all the other things we do, you know what? Curl up to your computer and watch 256 episodes because we've covered lots of different things. So, John, I'm just going to scroll up here and I'm seeing um, Sue Ann McKinney. Uh, thank you, Sue Ann. Uh, I haven't talked to my brother in years. He bullied me a lot. Okay, good. So, I'll scan. And what I'll do, John, I'll get us started. I'll work with Sue Ann. And then, if you can scroll down and uh, find your subject matter. So, uh, oh, one thing that we didn't say is that just like if I was going to dial into somebody's computer or on their Wi-Fi, I certainly can't do it without a password, John. So what is implied when people volunteer? Yeah, it's, it's permission. So we need your 
you know, in this case, it's written permission, verbal permission. Um, okay. Yeah, we need that up front. So in other words, if we see someone, you know, ticked off in the street with road rage or whatever it may be, or limping down the road, we're just not going to connect up to them and work on them because that's, you know, an invasion of their privacy and space. Yeah. And or our family yeah. members, or our neighbors, or our BF yeah. yeah, Yeah, if you want help, you, you can let us know. Um, yes. Yeah. So uh, just um, just quickly, can I, I'm going to ask uh, Meyer just, just a little bit more uh, context. So Meyer did volunteer. And so just to briefly, you know, the severity, if you have any examples, that would be great. You know, someone specific. And, you know, pass it back to you there. Uh, okay. Uh, so I'm going to be using muscle testing. Uh, my friend Natasha put the, uh, the link out on the chart. I'll just show it real quickly here. Thanks, Natasha. MichaelLoche.com forward slash muscle testing. Like Michael Loche style, uh, it is a workbook and a video so you can learn how to muscle test. It takes lots of practice, but once you get it, you'll thank me and yourself forever for doing it. Uh, remember, I'm looking for a yes answer, and I program my subconscious conscious brain to say, hey, I want to ask yes or no questions. Can I use the muscles of my body to help me with that? Of course, I install that little computer program. And I, it's called the draw. Well, it, I call it the drawbridge technique. This finger is the yes or no, or the yes or no. -er. My attempt is to slide through. That's a no. Lock it in. It's a yes. Let it go if it's a no. Uh, so right now, I'm having a little ritual uh, in my subconscious mind, in my head right now. I'm scanning for Sue Ann M. Hickley. I see her right now. She's with me right now. These are all no's. I'm just scanning. Remember the days of AOL? Mm, 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 mm. There we go. Am I Michael Loge? Am I Sue Smith? Am I Sue Ann? Yes. Okay. That's a yes. You know, and I was telling Michael about, uh, do I have a heart wall with my brother? In other words, do I have an unprocessed uh, baseball-sized emotion collected around my heart with or about my brother that causes him to respond to the vibration because that's what people do? Do I have one of those? Yes. How many? Over one, over two, over three, not over three. Oh, so it's under three. Well, it's not over three and it's not under three. Captain Obvious, what is it? Three. I have one, two, three. Okay. Are they all in the blue chart behind Michael? Oh, they're all there, yes. How many are in column one? Under five, under three, two, under one, one. So one's in column one and two are in column B. Column one, sorry, column A rather, is it in row one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five. Is it overwhelm? Yes. Is this a heart wall of overwhelm with my brother? So I got the magnet because I'm connected. Imagine there's a little imaginary, you know, vibe. I'm deleting it just like if I was deleting a bug from your computer. I'm deleting this heart wall of overwhelm. What's the next one? Is it A, column A, is it, uh, you know, column, is it A, B, is it B? Is it B1, yes, is it six, five, four, three, two, and one, is it one, is it B? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, insecurity. I'm deleting this heart wall of insecurity. Where's the next one? Is it B, hopelessness, deleting this heart wall of hopelessness. So again, these are three energies that you would be vibing with or about your brother, and he would only respond to that because it's called the law of attraction and doesn't know better. But I do have another chart. I'm going to say, do I have a trauma heart wall with my brother? Yes. How many? Under five, four, three, two, under two, under one, over one, one, A, five, A, five, five, A, five, four, A, five, five. Okay, this is an important one. This is called the trauma of <clears throat> loss of femininity, and it means the loss of your voice or your power or your ability to speak up or have an opinion or claim your value and worth. And I think one of those things might have said, yes, that's me. So again, it's just staying in your power. Is this a trauma heart wall loss of femininity? Yes. I'm deleting this trauma heart wall loss of femininity, my inability to speak up and have a voice and stay in my power. Now, do I have a heart wall with his brother? No. Do I have other emotions with or about him that aren't heart wall, but they're my feelings about him? Yes. Is it one, five, four, three, two, one, A, B, one, two, three, four, five, six, one? Is it hurt pride? Yes. 
I'm deleting this feeling of pride or hurt pride uh, with or about my brother, deleting this pride. Now, do I have any negative charge? No, do I have any negative emotion? No, would it be okay for me to anticipate and expect an, a new response from my brother? Yes, okay, am I done? Yes. Okay, I just disconnected, but I'd be remiss if I didn't do a quick little law of attraction training session. Right now, all of us have a vibe or a feeling about everything and anything. This isn't your eye, but it is the bubble. And everything that we're receiving is matching the vibe that we're sending. So the response that we're getting from other people is matching the vibration that we're sending about them, and they don't even know it. And it would be against the law for them not to respond to the vibe that we're sending about them. Cue the magnet. So today uh, I was able to, on Sue Wine's behalf, go inside of her vibration, delete the negative charge that she has with her about her brother only, remove those. Now we can't respond to her because she doesn't have it. Captain Obvious. Hey, uh, Sue, if you want to make any comments about that, let me know what you're thinking. And uh, we're going to go back to John. John, go ahead. Tell me what, so, you, what you're finding. Yeah, Meyer uh, from New Zealand. Uh, has volunteered and says, I have a difficult relationship with my mother, mostly since my father has passed away. Okay, good work. <clears throat> Thank you uh, for the details, Meyer. So I'll just connect up now. I'll just muscle test, use my hands. So my muscle testing looks kind of like this. So I'm just setting that intention, connect up to Meyer. Does a proxy, 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 yes. Okay, difficult relationship with my mother. Yes. So according to you, the severity would be, uh, it's a seven or six. Yeah. Is there a heart wall emotion uh, contributing to this difficulty uh, with my mother? Heart wall emotion, yeah. Be odd or even. It is B3. It is. Grief. Okay. Our little grief. Let's release that. Release, release. Okay. And there's another heart emotion. Yeah. Okay. A odd or even. So it is a one, three, or five. So there's a five. It's fear. You release fear or all fear. It's released. Good. There's another heart with emotion, Meyer. There is. Okay, column A. Or B4. It's frustration. You're releasing frustration now. Okay, and that's cleared. Yeah. Okay, a couple more here. Three more. There's another heart with emotion. Five. It is dread. Okay, release dread. It's released. Yeah, there's another heart emotion. There's no, but there's a trapped emotion. So it's unsupported. Release unsupported. Okay. There's another trapped emotion. Heart wall. Is it? Something else. Let's see what we can find here. So we're looking into the body code right now, yeah. which is, do you have the book with you, Michael? I do, yeah. Chakra imbalance. So there's an energy center chakra imbalance. Is it heart chakra? Heart chakras in balance. And, My, and uh, what our friends don't know that you're doing is asking lots of questions. Yeah, saying so, them out loud, right? So yeah. he's only telling us the important ones, so to kind of keep us engaged. But we could do it without ever saying anything out loud. We can just so he's asking lots of questions to get to another question. So if, yeah, if I talk out loud, it just gets confusing. Like left, right, up, down, A, B, <laughs> select, start. Yeah. And, and then, it, yeah, that, yeah, it's too much. So right now, John's going to the body code, and he's a body code practitioner, which is a, another level that, uh, again, the body is saying, oh, you need to investigate a little differently here. So that's what we're doing now. 
Keystone. So bitterness and balancing the heart chakra. So heart chakra energy center, it's all, you know, love, to simply put. Um, so clearing bitterness from the heart chakra, and that's cleared. Yeah, another trapped emotion, balancing heart chakra. No, something else. So reset heart chakra, it's reset, just aligning it now. Okay. Difficulty with mother. Uh, since uh, since father has passed away, severity. I got a zero on that. So you know what? That's that's good. Got a bunch of heart well emotions, trapped emotions, heart chakra. Other vibes in a way. Yeah. So new vibe, Meyer. Yeah. Let me know if any of that made sense. Yeah. Yes, and remember when you hire us, uh, or if you're planning to do that, you can bring and say, you know what? Can you do a heart all with my mom and my sister, my employee, and you know? So again, we we get you to bring a few two or four or five things to the call. Uh, we don't know how long they'll take, but our goal is to do that. Uh, and again, when you hire us, the ideal scenario is that you start with the two second, two second, two, you know, the two twenty five or the two session packets. That's what I'm trying to say. And bring your list to the first one. In the first meeting, we'll do what we did, get rid of multiple layers. Ideally, you'll feel relief and uh, both physically and with your thoughts during the meeting. And then we'll meet a space in between. And your homework between the meetings is observation. Ooh, look at this. I'm noticing this, and I'm noticing that. I'm noticing this, and I'm noticing. I'm looking for my noticer. I'm noticing this. Look at this improvement. Oh, look at the different thoughts I'm having. People are loving and liking me. I'm getting more money. And then when you come to your second meeting, when we say, "Tell us what you notice," then you're going to say, "Holy oh, yes, boss." And that was only the first meeting. So the second meeting is to kind of tighten up, right, John, in case they come back and say, you know, my neck is almost to a zero. It's down to a one. Well, it used to be a seven. So that second meeting went to, to clean stuff up. And if there's time, you can throw in a couple new goodies there as well. So uh, you can check out John and I both. What I'm going to show you right now is uh, the little streamer on the bottom. Uh, oops, that's not the right one. John and I are here every Saturday, the first Saturday of every month, and we're here for about a half hour. We're always looking for volunteers, and we change up the subject every now and then. If you want to make sure you're on the list, you can go to michaellose.com forward slash live, or no, this one's good too, releasingnegativeemotions.com forward slash live, and from there, you can get to John's website, my website, you can get to YouTube, you can get to a really super popular podcast which is like 140,000 downloads out of nowhere so we're pretty excited about all that we'd like you to uh, hang out with us and when it comes time for you uh, to improve your uh, mental wellness and your physical wellness we would love to help you do that absolutely let's read a couple of things here here's your yeah. client you we know? do have an update from Meyer thank you that makes sense especially grief and unsupported when my father passed we didn't speak about it thank you very much for your time Absolutely, yeah. my yeah. pleasure. Yeah, isn't that nice? Sometimes when you can find the connection. And, yeah. And, and what about Sue Ann here? Sue Ann says, thank you, was right on with the challenges faced of not having a voice and feeling shut down. So good, yeah. good, made sense. All oh, that's cleared out. So yeah, new vibe, you know, uh, radiating, all that, you know, negativity that was radiating out. That's all just neutralized yeah. and cleared out. Hundreds of episodes ago, we interviewed Dr. Brad, and Dr. Brad, who's the author of the book, Dr. Bradley Nelson, to be uh, proper, the author of this book, and the author of the Body uh, the Emotion Code book, and uh, we had a good conversation about how the Law of Attraction and the Emotion Code were such best friends. I'm just going to do a little a little demo again. Imagine this is you. That's not me or you, it doesn't look like us, but there is a vibrational bubble around you. And that vibe is what you're giving attention to. Are you angry and ticked off? That's your vibe. Are you feeling abundant and loving? That's your vibe. Are you, are you, what's the vibe on the way to a meeting? What's the vibe on the way to a client? What's the vibe? The vibe is what people are responding to without even knowing that they're doing it. It's called the law and I didn't create it, I'm just teaching it. So now you have this vibe going on and John and I are deleting some unprocessed emotions from your vibe. And the best way to become more positive, because that's the goal, the best way to become more positive is to become less negative. 
It's a mathematical equation. So as we're removing negative vibes that you have with or about somebody, then your vibration changing and it's higher, and then they respond to the new vibe. So best friends, emotion code, releasing negative emotion. You know, in my book, Law of Attraction, well, I'm pointing at it, but uh, in my book, Law of Attraction, you know, it's 20 years old. It was 20 years old in March. Can you believe that? Wow. Four million copies, 37 languages. Uh, this book uh, was designed to help people change their vibration with their words, right? You know, get rid of the don't nots and no's, do this, do this, do this. And people say, oh, wow, mine are feeling better. And what they were really saying is, wow, my vibration feels higher than it was when I read it. And it's called the vibrational meter reader. See, we all have a vibrational meter reader. There's something metering and reading your vibration. Do I have a vibration? Well, sometimes we call it your vibe, which is a Q4 letter word for the word vibration. So this is like a vibe meter reader. Well, isn't a vibe a feeling? Yeah, well, it's really a feeling meter reader. You know what it really is? Your feelings. They're negative or positive. And right now, you cannot not have one. And you can tell where your vibrational meter reader is by how you feel. And the goal is to have my goal, ideally other people's goal, is to have a high vibration. Because when you have a high vibration, you only attract things that match it. It'd be against the law to attract negative things when you're dial. You can't listen to 97.5 and 50.1 at the same time. So pick a dial and do what you need to do to release and delete negative vibrations, either with your thoughts or with our help, so you can attract things faster and uh, more positive. John, for someone that hasn't had a one-on-one -on -one session and they're thinking, well, what, you know, what do I do? How do I get to the Zoom? Or, uh, tell our friends that process for us. And uh, thanks to everybody listening in today, Sue Ann, uh, Meyer, Car um, uh, Kelly's with, with Natasha. I'm just going through the list. Thanks for everybody. John, what's it like to have a, an experience? What, what do people need to do to prepare? Go ahead. Right. We both have online scheduling. So Michael can be found at releasingnegativeemotions.com. I'm at alivenpeer.com. And so we have online scheduling calendars. So you can go in and uh, find a time, a day that works for you. And you'll get a confirmation email saying you're booked. And then we can send you a Zoom link. If you want to have a session over Zoom, you know, with video, it's nice. Or if uh, you don't want the video, uh, we do phone sessions as well. And if you can't find the time, date that works for you, we do email sessions as well. Like, you know, Michael, uh, the example is that, you know, if you're traveling or, you know, on a plane or, you know, I've been working with a lot of busy moms lately, um, with, you know, little rugrats moving around and just, you know, finding a half hour of the day is, is kind of tough. So they just send me a list of things they want to work on. I'll work on them. And, you know, mom with, you know, multiple kids, you know, driving to soccer practice, whatever it is, you can live your life and, and we, we can work on you and you don't need to be uh, on phone or video. So that's kind of nice. And it's, yeah, super, super easy to, to set up uh, the online scheduling. The last email client I had was NLA uh, about to go to a massive networking meeting, like with lots of potential. So he didn't want to take a half hour, you know, you're traveling in a hotel. And he, he said, I want to, he said, I'm, I'm getting to the meeting at nine o'clock. So I did a session at eight o'clock and it was all, and I covered, and I knew exactly what he needed. Heart walls with people, nervousness, all the feelings that he was having about meeting people. And the feeling today of um, loss of femininity that came up. And so now we can have a voice. And I worked on his self-esteem and his negative self-talk. So about, probably about 10 to nine, I knew that it would either be there or not be there. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna text him. I said, hey, I finished your session. He said, oh, I know, about 50 minutes ago. I said, yes, it was about 50 minutes ago. He goes, I felt it. And he said, I'm on fire. So all through the day, he said, oh, I tell you, I'm building such good rapport. Like he was reporting, he was showing me the receipts from that meeting, so. Nice. And then there's my other client that's always, I work with them when he's 25, 30,000 feet in the air because he's very busy. And, and then when the plane lands, he wakes up, he wakes up to my message saying, I finished the sessions and then he's going for a meeting or something. So a couple ways to do that. Yeah. Uh, John also works with pets. We both work with pets, but John has some experience working with pets and your children. 
and they don't need to be present. So they could be in the other room playing and we can find out what some of the challenges are. Everything from the button that I don't want my eggs to touch my toast <laughs> to having any snit fit about anything, right, John? Yeah, yeah. Uh, my little guy's having, he gets all fired up at bedtime right now, so I'm working on that with him. And and then um, some of my clients, too, just start coming in with the same concern. It's, it's funny yeah. how I'm seeing that, and, you know, I'm, I'm attracting, you know, moms and dads with um, four-year-olds that yeah. uh, are bouncing off the walls at bedtime. Uh, Good old kids. Well, John, yeah. we had a great experience today. We helped two people. Our goal is to uh, let people see the option that we can help them at a distance uh, on the phone, you know, through the Zoomer, and uh, we can help you with your health care uh, significantly. So consider us when you're going to do that. And we got a couple volunteers today. Thanks to everybody that's been watching and participating. John, we will see you the first Saturday of every month. See you later, Kelly, Natasha, Meyer. Thanks, everyone. everyone. See you later. See you next time. What a class.